the thing that I that I really love about being an artist is that you're always a student. I'm still learning and I'm still discovering new things. I shouldn't see myself as a teacher. I should see myself as a good person trying to reach out to them through art. Art can heal, art can disrupt it is just as much a tool as anything else and how it is expressed is up to the that individual doing the art making and that's highly influenced by the cultural group in which they are part of. Coming here to Korea, it's like planting seeds, you know. You just plant seeds and just let them be. See what happens next. But I know this will become part of their experience, of the student's experience. And somehow this will affect the way they think, the way they treat other cultures, the way they respected me when I was with them, and I know they'll become better persons because of this. For me personally, I found teaching and art making to be very compatible in many ways. I spent most of my adult life as an artist teaching full-time and making art full-time. And it's exciting to be around people uh, being creative. And when you're working as, a, as an artist teaching, teaching in the arts, uh, that create creativity that you're participating in and trying to, you're, you know, I'm allowing, making space for, can be, you know, very powerful and very, very inspiring. So it, you have a nice balance between theater and abstraction. And, and, and physical movement. As we begin today, I want to do a brief introduction to what I do and also show you briefly uh, an example of how I use play to really create what I consider liberatory, disruptive, and inclusive environment. This particular class that I'm teaching looks at how we can understand the principles of play to create a co-collaborative environment and an experimental environment for community-based site-specific performance works. Works that engage the physicalities, the architecture of a space, as well as considers our social relationships as a type of construction that can be deconstructed, revitalized, and reimagined. 
And the reason why I use these cultural strategies and these games of play is also to actually develop critical thinking and revitalization of communities. But also within the African-American tradition, we have a multi hundred year history of using games of play in order to survive, thrive, and break from enslavement. When I was preparing for this residency, I asked myself, how do I get across younger people who are from a different culture than mine? Anyway, I just tried to introduce some really basic, basic steps. And I just want them to feel how the dance is performed in a very, very slow manner with their breathing and emphasized that small movements are very important. You know, I find it very compelling to make decisions as a, as a visual artist by just placing a body in space and placing a body in spaces that don't, don't normally have them like a painter or a sculptor. And that's the thing that I think that is powerful is that the body can evoke simultaneously abstraction and, and something very concrete at the same time. The most hard thing is to make a time with other people because they have each different spare time. But honestly, mm, it was really fun mm. to make a like kind of think about our traditional, what is our culture, or what is our spirit kind of fit. In this college, lots of people having a hard time using speaking English, but through this program, Culture Hub, they can develop their English skill and also meet a lot of foreign artists and they can write their experience from this class. So it's really big, important, cherished chance, I think. In the beginning, I was really scared to join this class because, uh, you know, I'm a producer. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> I don't know how to acting. So when I join this class, I have a lot of worries. Like, I have a lot of confused. But when I join this class, I think the professor helped me to open mind. And one more thing, I know how to work with people. Yeah. This lesson is hard, but you can understand more about art. You can understand more about the relationship with people. And you can make your own art with, with others. Culture 나라에 사는 사람들은 어떤 생각을 가지고 어, 어떤 걸 향유하고 어떤 것들을 즐기고 또 거기서 뭐를 얻는지 그런 걸 나누는 게 정말 중요하고 보람차고 가치 있다고 생각해요. <목소리> 저는 진짜 정말 중요하다고 생각해요. 왜냐하면 예술가는 좀 넓게 살아야 되잖아요. 근데 한국에서만 배울 수 있는 것들이 있고 외국에서 또그 나라 사람들에게만 배울 수 있는 게 있기 때문에 특히 뭐그 나라의 전통 춤을 배울 때라든지 그런 기회들이 정말 쉽지 않은 거라서 저는 정말 좋다고 생각해요. 먼저 사이트 스페시픽 퍼포먼스라는 게 사실 한국에서 흔치 않은 개념이라서 어 
공연 예술이 어떻게 더 확장될 수 있는지를 배울 수 있는 계기였다고 생각합니다. 어, 타 예술가들과 교류를 하면서 자신의 예술적 세계를 확장할 수 있는 기회라고 생각합니다. 저희 같은 경우는 한국에서 물론 좋은 아티스트들도 많이 있지만 뭔가 다른 시도들을 많이 배우고 싶은데 그런 것들을 해외에 직접 가지 못하기 때문에 이렇게 직접 아티스트들이 와가지고 알려준다면 굉장히 새로운 것들을 접해볼 수 있는 기회가 돼서 너무너무 좋은 것 같고 앞으로도 많은 아티스트들이 오셔서 알려주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 